Hello, I'm Jenny from Bespoken For and today I'm talking about birdcage veils. So I want to show you a few types of birdcage veils. We're going to discuss your options for the fixing of the birdcage veils as well as how to wear them. So after you're watching this video you should feel confident in being able to go out and choose the veil and also know what's going to work best with you. So first of all I'm going to begin by showing you a few examples of veils that I've got here and the different types of fixing. Now this veil as you can see is on a headband. And the idea is that this is a really simple veil to wear and to, to be able to fix on that anybody should be able to wear this veil. It works well with a variety of hairstyles, um, in particular if you've got your hair back or up. Um, and again you can just slide that on. So that's on a hairband fixing. Um, the other types of veil fixing um, we've got, this one is on a simple crocodile clip. I'll show you, and so all you simply do is clip that into place. But I'll I'll show you the fitting of that shortly. Um, traditional veils tend to be on cones, and so I'll show you how we're going to fit a veil with a cone as well. There are a few options to wearing those and where to fit them, and um, you can also have them on hair grips and pins, um, as this this one is. These pins just slide in. Um, or you can have one with double cones. Okay, so let's start to talk about how you're going to wear your birdcage veil. So, when you're wearing a birdcage veil, you need to decide that if you intend to wear it on the side, you can wear it to the front of your head. And again, it's about having a play and enjoying your birdcage veil and, and working out what is you. So, when you get your birdcage veil, there are five easy steps to fitting it. First of all, you need to style your hair as you intend to wear it. Once you've got your hair right, the second thing you need to do is adjust the veil. So you remove it from the box and you just make sure that the veil is not caught up on anything. In particular, if there's teeth on it for a comb, it's really likely to get caught up. So you're going to adjust the veil and make sure it's laying flat as you want it. Um, and then you're going to put the veil on. So that's step number three. Then Step number four is to secure the veil with bobby pins if you need to. Most veils will stay in by themselves, but occasionally, especially if you've got um, fine or silky hair, you might need those extra pins for grip or to um, just put the veil into the right place that you desire it. And of course, the, the final step is to just style and shape it to suit you. Okay, so let's get on with showing you how to wear a birdcage veil. So this veil simply goes behind your ears and where you would normally wear your um, hairband. And as you can see, it's nice and easy. It's already shaped. You can have this made so you can have it higher. You, again, you can have it so it will just go over one eye or however you wish. Um, if you'd like, you can pin, pin the veil uh, just to stop it being so poofy but I find that um, it's kind of nice to have that effect. Um, you could also wear this veil around the other way if you wished. Um, the great thing about this veil um, is because it's plain and it's simple you can actually uh, wear a tiara or another hair accessory with it if you wish. Okay, so the second veil I'm going to show you how to fix is this one which is the Effleresque um, birdcage veil and it's on a clip. Um, as you can see it's got some lovely freshwater pearl details and some sturosity detail um, and again should you wish you can have your veil designed with these details. So this one all you need to do is hold the veil out so again I'm, I'm holding the veil on the side that I'm, I'm going to clip it onto. You can have it either side depending on your preference really. Uh, so the first thing to do is just hold the veil and sort of get it in a rough place as to where you think it might look good. Clip so it's fixed into the hair and then just adjust the veil to suit. Um, if that's not right you simply unclip it and start again. So again if I want to go to this side now, I'm just going to clip it that way and again. You can see that is a really simple veil to use and again if, if you haven't got a hairdresser handy and you need to be able to do it yourself that's a great option for you. Okay, let's try and undo it now.
Okay, the next veil I'm going to show you is a traditional veil on a comb. Now this veil is made so that you can push the comb backwards or if, if you find that your hair will stay better if the comb goes forwards, you simply flip it over and push the comb in forwards. So I'll show you both ways. So yeah, again, so we're just adjusting the, the veil because they get caught up on the teeth. So I'm going to show you the, with the comb going forwards first. So hold the veil um, nice and easily in one hand. Make sure it's not caught up. Now this one can be worn to the side. So I'm simply going to push it forwards into my hair. As you can see it sticks up slightly. So again, this is where you're going to want to just pull the veil round to where you want it. And if you wish, you can secure it with a few bobby pins or curvy grips and just stick them in as and where. So that's putting it onto the side, pushing the teeth in forward. Um, as I say, the other way you can wear it is you can push the teeth in back. So I'll show you that you can put this one into the centre of your hair as well. So you can wear it from the middle, pull the veil forward, have your eyes, and then you're just going to pin sort of behind your ears or wherever you desire for that. Um, or you can lift the veil up and adjust it. And again, that can go on the side or in the middle as I've shown you. So that's the traditional veil on a comb. Um, this veil is currently has no detail on it, but if you did want a flower or some crystals or pearls, that's an option for you too. Okay, this next veil that I'm going to show you uh, this is a circular veil, yeah, so, so it goes, the idea is that it goes all around your head. So I'll just show you how this one fits in. So you simply hold the comb, slide the comb into your hair, and pull the veil down. Now again, if you want your veil longer or shorter, you can have that. So that's how you can wear this one. Um, other options again is you can just lift the veil this, this detailing up at the back not catching too much hair and it's trouble having short hair um, and you can sort of scrunch it up pin it with a few pins add a brooch into it or some detail that you love um, or you can pull it all forward like this sort of the circular detail um, and pin it across you've got sort of a double veiling effect um, another thing I love with the veils is you can have crystals or diamantes added onto them. So that was the circular type veil. This one is lovely. This works sort of a bando um, and it's simply just two uh, pins. So this is a really easy veil to secure and ideally if you've got another hair accessory that you want to wear with it and you want to just remove the veil later. So all you would need to do for this is just pin it into your hair one side, bring the veil across your face and pin it in on the other side. And then again you can have the pins to match your hair. Again then you'll adjust the veil as, as and where you wish and uh, pin it in. And that works great um, again if you've got your hair down and it's not so easy to secure anything into it. Uh, other options that you can do with these types of veil is you can put both the pins in one side and sort of scrunch this up adding in a brooch or another hairpin I've got my hand the other I will show you uh, just sort of the details so you can get some lovely um, effects there uh, the other way you could wear one of these is you can do sort of a 40s style where you just let it go across the head and just stick it gently behind my ears you can let it go quite high and across the forehead rather than your eyes if you wish and um, so you get the detailing of the veil on the hair and the final veil I've got to show you today now again this one has got two combs it's similar to the last veil I showed you let me adjust my hair <laughs> so it's not made for doing all this and this one's got a nice little feather detail as I said, here at Bespoken Ball, we can add whatever you like onto your veils, um, especially if you've got an old piece of jewellery, sort of a uh, sentimental piece of old brooch from your grandma or anything like that that you'd like to add in, you can do that too. So, what we're going to do is take one side 
comb. So the idea is that we stick the combs upwards. So just about across the face and the comb and push it upwards like so. And again then you're going to adjust the bow. Ideally you want to have either your hair in a nice position or a little bit of the detail behind here would look great. And this bell, as you can see, is black. And you can have any colours that you like, really. They're, uh, the veiling is available in a lot of different colours. And we can normally colour match to your wedding. Just show the detail that's on this. Yes, you can wear that. The other option, again, if you want to create sort of a, a different look later and you don't want to have the veil across your face, um, you can simply pin or push the comb in on the same side as the feather details and so you create sort of a side hair piece. Now I hope that's given you a few options for your veil. As you can see they're a really versatile accessory to wear and we can make them so that they really suit your hair. Okay so that's about all I've got for my tips today. If you'd like any more information I'm Jenny Bush visit my website www.bespokenforth.co.uk or subscribe to my videos here on YouTube. Uh, and thank you for watching.